Hello and welcome to what's set to be a thrilling fourth day of the third Ashes Test here at Headingley. England need 203 runs, Australia seven wickets here to preview all the day's play is Travis Head. Travis, what's the mood in the camp like? The mood's pretty good. I think, um, yeah, a good battle yesterday um, with the ball. I thought we, we, we contained them really well. Um, we kept the score low, I guess, and, and they didn't really get away. So it makes for a really big morning session um, with the new ball around the corner. If we can get a little breakthrough before that, would be fantastic. But if not, it's the same sort of stuff we try to just continue our plans and I thought we bowled really well and stuck to them for a long period of time and credit they batted quite well yesterday afternoon. Lots of wickets on the first two days, not so many yesterday, why is that? I think here as, as the wickets got better I think probably yesterday was probably the best time to bat so I think we've seen later in the day as, as Nath got in the game he started to turn the ball a little bit, um, there's still enough there, the ball swung around for England and, and, and we were able to um, get something out of the wicket every now and then, Hoff bowled a beautiful spell there late in the day so um, again, it's just about hanging in there. It's probably it will take a longer process, I guess, over the, the last couple of days, and it might not be as quick as the first two. But I think as the wickets got better and the, and the conditions got better, it's obviously a little bit hotter. So um, yeah, we got to make sure we stick to our process. It might take us a little bit of time, but we know if we bowl in the right areas, we'll create enough chances. Run rate was about one and over in the last session. Uh, is that more Australia batting, uh, Australia bowling well, or England shutting up shop early? Um, oh, I think I think we bowled exceptionally well. I think uh, throughout the series we've had a um, control the scoreboard and that's something that we've been um, working really hard on and making sure that over here if we can contain the runs um, the English conditions I guess and the ball and the wickets always produce something and always give you an opportunity so um, if we can keep the runs at a minimum, a minimum um, and get ourselves 10 chances that's the best way of going about it so I thought the way we bowled especially um, I guess we could have let them get away a little bit we've, we've got 200 runs to play with today so every run's crucial um, we just got to make sure we can create seven opportunities today. Nathan Lyon, wickless so far, but bowled very well, particularly in that last session. What are you expecting out of him today? Yeah, just the same old for them guys. I think he, as, as the game's gone on, he's got more in the game. I think we seen last night the ball started to turn a little bit more, so I think um, it's only early in the game. I think we see him come in the, into the game day four or five um, as a spinner normally, and we see edge bass on day five. So um, glad that, again, we keep the runs at a minimum. We give him the most amount of runs again. As the day goes on, the, the more Nathan will come into the game. So... Um, we don't need to try and get him to work too much and, and try and do too much. We just need to keep doing what he's doing and, and, and luck will change. Seven wickets for Josh Hazelwood in this test match. Bowled extremely well yesterday. What was it like during that spell of his? Had Root beat the bat a couple of times, finally got the wicket at Denley. What was it like being out there for that? Yeah, it was great. It was a great contest. Obviously, Joe being their best player and, and Hoff bowling exceptionally well at the minute. We're very fortunate to have a lot of good fast bowling and, and he's been on it since he's come back. Last week was fantastic, this week the same. Um, just challenging both sides of the bat, um, charging in all day, bowled a long spell on day one, on day two. Um, same again yesterday, bowled long spells, it was hot, trying conditions and he, he was able to produce something out of the wicket. So same again from the big hop this morning, hopefully he can do that. Hopefully we're, we're lucky enough to get the edge and he can get us to a great start. How important is this second new ball going to be? Yeah, very important. I think, um, again, if we can get one wicket, um, two would be fantastic. Um, if, if, it's, if it's none, then we know that at least when we get the new ball, it'd be harder. Um, we've seen the ball move around a little bit. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we started beautifully with it yesterday with the new ball. Getting two wickets was, was great. And, and same again, hopefully, this morning when we get that and not try too hard, continue what we did yesterday. And, and, and I'm sure we'll, create, we'll be able to create enough opportunities. What gives you confidence that you can take these seven wickets and retain the Ashes? Well, I think we've seen uh, the way we bowled edge bass and um, the way we bowled through through the Laws test and the way we bowled in the first innings. I know we're going to create enough opportunities. Um, so it's about ma a pro matter of process and, and, and sticking to our plans. I thought yesterday was the same. We were, we were really close to breaking the game open and credit to the two guys that put on the partnership and played really well. well. So confident going into today. We just make sure we start really well, stay nice and calm and consistent in what our plans are. And, and um, yeah, hopefully we, we get them opportunities and take them.